the ER right now. Um, they're they're gonna do like a CT scan on my abdomen, abdomen to find out why I'm in so much pain. They gave me a, a tramadol, I believe, like IV, and they're doing um, where's it at? IV fluids up there. But um, I was eating, and my abdominal pain just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So we're in the um, ER trying to figure out what's what it is. But um, after my CT scan, I'll update y'all and let y'all know how it went. <laughs> I'm filming this on my phone, so if any of this footage is like janky, that's why. Because my, my phone's janky. And um, my blood looks good though, but they just did a CT scan, so we're waiting on that. But um, I did just finish my IV fluids earlier, so um, we're just waiting. And I pulled my ivy out. You can kind of see a little bit of it, like the tube part is coming out of my skin. And so I'm bleeding, which is fun. There's not really a good way to show you, but I have pictures of it. But, um, I don't remember if I said it, but I was having a tick attack, and that's why I pulled it out. But my memory's really shitty today, so. Yeah. Hopefully they'll do it, like, in another spot. I'm kind of worried that they might kind of have the attitude of like, let's not try again. Um, but if they can get it back in there, then that'd be great. The doctors just came in and they told me that they can't see really what's wrong in the CT scan. All they can tell is that there's these big tubes that are like swollen and they can't really f see what it is. So they need to do a, um, what is it called? A, son a sonogram? And um, they're gonna want to do one like on top of my abdomen and then one inside, which I hate those, those hurt. But um, they're also gonna have to do a pelvic exam, which I'm not excited about. But they're gonna let me um, put both instruments inside myself by myself. So instead of them doing it, I'm gonna do it, and then they're gonna do their thing because it's a lot more painful when they do it themselves. Especially if you have IC, you'll understand what I mean, um, or at least you might. But, um, yeah, we don't know if I need surgery or not. There's a possibility I can need surgery. So, they're keeping me from eating and drinking, which really sucks, um, because I'm very dehydrated. But, um, yeah, we'll just see what happens, I guess. Hopefully, it's, like, I think they said the po it's a possible, like, it's possibly my fallopian tube or an appendicitis. So, I hope it's my fallopian tube, I guess. So, yeah, maybe? I don't know. Finished my um, sonogram. They did a um, sonogram like inside of my vagina and then they did one on, out, on the outside of it. So we're just waiting for those results. I was lucky because she let me put the, um, what is it called? Speculum. Speculum, basically just like, what are those things that you pick up salad with? A vagina tong is what I would call it and I put it in myself so hello thank you very much for her letting me do that because if you have interstitial studies you'll understand that but aren't they like tongs they are and um, so that one was that was really painful I haven't had one that painful before they normally are painful but I was like trying to pull away from her so it probably wasn't too easy on her um, but they did a CT scan and there was like some kind of weird tubulage is what I'm gonna say and they can't decide if it's like going to they can't decide what it is I think I'm gonna throw up can you um but yeah I think I'm gonna throw up so I'll talk to you later they're giving me um antibiotics and they've given me some up there but I think they took them already I think it's gone but we're about to be going home but yeah the doctor just came in and they told me what they think is going on. Basically, um, I've had a bladder infection for probably about a week or longer now and I didn't realize it because I have a dracential cystitis and so apparently somehow that turned into bacteria vaginosis which is another common thing for people with interstitial cystitis to get and the bacteria vaginosis traveled all the way to my fallopian tubes and so my urethra not my urethra not my urethra but my uterus and both fallopian tubes are super super swollen and filled with 
pus, which sounds really gross. They said like you're probably used to having so much urinary pain down there that you didn't notice you had the infections and that's why they traveled so far up to your fallopian tubes because of how long I've had it. Um, and they said there's some times that BV doesn't give symptoms that you can just have it and I don't really know too much about it but they're, they've put me on like, um, they've been running, um, what do you call it? Fluids through my IV. They've given, they've given me antibiotics through it, pain medication and non nausea medication <laughs> from it. <laughs> and they're gonna send me home with some like mild pain medication, some antibiotics, and nausea medication. And um, I have to take it in t for like a week, I think it is. And so I think we do not need surgery. I was super worried. And so was a nurse and, I mean, the, the doctor, because I have, I have EDS and there's a bunch of, like, um, complications with surgery normally. And so we're um, glad that it's just an infection, not that the infection is not painful. It is extremely painful. But um, I don't have the surgery and I get to go home tonight. We were afraid I was going to get admitted. So I get to go home. Hey. But, um... I am going to talk to y'all later. Um, it's like really late so my eyes are closed but um, we're about to be going home I think and um, I've, I've, I'm thankful that they've been like monitoring my pain as best as possible. This is the first time I've had pain medication when I've been to the hospital and I was really worried about coming because I was thinking that they were going to dismiss me but they've actually been taking me really seriously and so. I'm going to talk to you later. Um, remember, you know your body better than anybody else. Please listen to it. Don't forget that I love you. And thank you for staying alive. See you next time. Bye.